in Jerusalem, archaeologists digging under a former orphanage and military base in Jerusalem uncovered what they called surprising finds. Near a Second Temple period mikveh or Jewish ritual bath, they discovered a wine press and unique Roman bathhouse. Pipes that would have brought hot air into the bathhouse are still intact. Archaeologist Amit Reem said ceramic and glass vessels were also found. Everything is an evidence that nearly 2,000 years ago, the Roman 10th Legion arrived to Jerusalem and after the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD, probably the soldiers occupied this house and we find archaeological evidence from this, from this period. This is the magic of Jerusalem. Everything is layers upon layers in one place. Reem says he hopes the place will become an archaeological park for nearby residents and others to enjoy. It's almost impossible to dig a hole in Israel without making some historic find. The recent discovery of two ancient seals in Jerusalem explains a lot about the historic city and the people who live there. Archaeologists found the seals inside a 2,500-year-old building. Inside this building, as a result of very gentle work that include also sifting of the finds, sifting of the airs in order to find all these tiny artifacts, we discovered, among other stuff, two Hebrew seals, one with the name of a man, Sariau ben Shvaniau, and another one with the name of the woman, Eliana Badgoel. We are standing in the heart of ancient Jerusalem, so-called City of David, the, the term that the Bible used for this place. The city started here and developed on a very small square here in these places for thousands of years. We have 10 historical periods here, starting from the 9th century BC. It's just some hundred years later than the kingdom of David and Solomon. And we have many more young, I would say, less ancient finds, including Hasmonean, Hellenistic period, Roman, Byzantine, and uh, early Islamic. And each period excavated here revealed the most interesting and most exciting finds. Chahadovich says it's extremely rare to find the name of a woman on a seal. It's very exciting to know that in ancient times, were strong women in Jerusalem living here and even we have no idea about who was this lady and why she deserves such a special rights in the society. The women's status in the ancient Near East usually wasn't that high. That's why it's so interesting to find a seal signed by a woman name. I think it's very inspiring because we know that in this society that we know as a man world, yeah, and in ancient Near East, such a long time ago, even then there were women who were capable to run their own independent life. Johanovich says uncovering a name brings the past and its people to life. When you have a name of the person, it's turning from something very abstract to something very individual. So we, we know that they were here by names. I think it's amazing. And that, that it's a woman, I think it's really very inspiring.